You can't give up on your vision. You can't give up on your vision. Your vision is something you got to hold on all the time. When God gives vision to Peter, we see something that God not only says, Peter, I know this is not comfortable, but God says this vision to Peter brings it three times. Somebody said three times. God brings it once, second time, third time. It became so consistent that after Peter left the vision and they were eating, the Bible says Peter was still thinking about the vision. One of the reasons why many visions die is because a vision, what we don't understand about a vision is this. You need vision for you. But the vision needs you also. The same way a baby inside of the mother's womb needs a mother. We don't think of this sometimes. The vision God gives you needs you. If you don't give it strength by holding on to it, it will die. Tatiana is pregnant. How many months? Five months. She has a baby inside. This baby you don't see. She feels that. She could, she feeds this baby not realizing it how she feeds the baby by carrying this baby and protecting this baby if at some time she says this baby is a hindrance to my life this baby is a hindrance to my schedule this baby is a hindrance to my appearance and I can no longer carry this baby I just need to let this baby uh, give this baby somewhere else so this baby can grow on its own and then once it grows it can come back into my life how many of you know that the baby will die the first day the baby will leave her womb why because though Tatiana needs the baby, the baby needs Tatiana. The Bible says people without vision perish. That means people can have money, people can have a family, but if they don't have a vision and purpose, their life loses meaning. But did you know that visions without people also perish? You know, visions cannot become reality without people. You know, vision is looking for a womb. Vision says, I can make you somebody great. I can change your life. Could, could I borrow your womb? Could you not kick me out when things get hard? Could you not throw me on the curb because you face an obstacle? Could you please feed me? One day I'll feed you. I'll change you. But when things get hard, please don't abort me. And many of us, that's exactly what we do. We believe for something one time, believe for something second time, but God wants to make it happen three times. It means He wants it to get sealed and stick inside of you. And not just something that you have, but eventually something that has you. You got to feed it. You got to hold on to it. And just because things are tough, just because things are a little bit obstacles on your way, you cannot simply throw that on the curb and saying, ah, my life is just too hard. I'm just too, 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 too difficult to visit. No, 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 no. Your vision needs you. Your vision is waiting on you to give it food. And one day when you feed it, it will feed you. It will change things around you. Because it's going to be God who's going to work through that vision. Because that's going to be faith. Can somebody say amen?